Go check your YouTube, Monte de Gamo. <laughs> All right, we're live. You can tell because Chris doesn't say anything until that darn button comes on. Anyway, <laughs> it's, your story. it's your story every time. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to 360. It's the 11th of January, and if you don't know it, it's Julie's birthday, okay? I mean, it's everywhere. And she's only, what, 60 what, Chris? I'm just kidding, Julie. <laughs> Anyway, uh, <laughs> we got some stuff to go over with you. Pretty exciting stuff, by the way. I'll, obviously, you know about most of it. I'm going to go check my channel, turn it over to Red, and I will be right back. Okay, cool. Hello, Chris Johnson and Marty DeGamo. Good to be here from the sunny isles of Barbados. Uh, I'm going to get into the antics I've been getting up to here uh, very shortly. Um, but first of all, an apology uh, to the post that I put out for 360 today. I mistakenly put Wednesday the 10th of January. And I'm in that much of a good time. I lost the day. So I apologize. It is the 11th today. And I did post out it was going to be uh, the uh, 10th. But there you go. Obviously, you, you might well have been Christopher. You never know. You know, when in Rome, as they say. Um, but we've got a good show for you today. We've been getting uh, lots of information through from our CEO, Ash Mufara, over the last couple of days that we want to share with you. Uh, in fact, he's insistent that we do share a lot of this information with you, which is absolutely fantastic. And we are going to get right into that in a moment. But for now, before I go over to my YouTube channel, I'm going to hand it over to Mr. Flowery Shirt himself, Chris Johnson. Good morning, Red. Good morning, Marty. Once again, it's a pleasure. Yeah, I just threw this on for you, Red. This is yeah. uh, this is because I was supposed to be there with you right now, and I couldn't. And to see the, uh, what do you have, 11 or 12 amazing founders. I know Sandra Fletcher, Dexter, some of the other ones brand new to me, but it was really cool to see that. That's what it's all about, man. Uh, and, and like I said, if I wake up every day and see something new, I... I went to bed at 12 midnight last night. I woke up at one o'clock. I never went back to sleep. Uh, Marty called me at three in the morning and then Julie called me and we were talking and uh, we don't know why we do know why we just can't sleep. Why? Because Ash is throwing everything at us, but the kitchen sink, you'll find out more about it. And uh, another thing, myself and Marty at that time in the morning, we wanted to be the first to sing Julie Wen happy birthday. Her actual age is, I'm not going to tell you. I think she's 26 or something like that. But I said 52. You know me, I'm a jokester. So I'm waiting for Marty to give me the thumbs up. I want to say hello to everyone on my YouTube channel. And please, to all the YouTube channels, thank you. Thank you for allowing us to grace our handsomenesses on your YouTube channels and to share all the news we have. So thank you. Please, everyone, like and subscribe all the YouTube channels. All right. It's going to help you in the future. Why? Because if something pops up, happens, that's exciting, which is late, lately every day, we're going to get it out to you. All right, Marty, you got thumbs up. You're ready to go? I'm as ready as I'm going to get. Um, as everybody knows, you can judge a company by what actions they take, right? Pretty simple. Are the products that they produce? Well, we have mastered everything you could imagine. I never thought four years ago next month that I would be this company that I joined that I thought was going to be spectacular would have a landmark such as the train station in Dubai. And the more I look at it, the more articles I read about it, the more statistics I hear about. It. In fact, I just put an article on my YouTube. It's one of the better ones. I think it's actually from the, the station the train station news, I should say. A very good, very good article. Very, very good. But when you're with a when you're with any company, and by the by the way, this is not any company, but any company that would put their money where their mouth is, and not for a month, not for two months, not for six months, ten years. We have a contract with on passive in this station. Seven hundred thousand people a day. 200 million a year. And, and, and let's look at this. The traffic that we get directly and the traffic we get indirectly could be double. 
Because also, think about this. Right now, there's 700,000 people a day. What is it going to be in five years, knowing that the world is going into IT, uh, artificial intelligence? That's where they're headed. They all talk about it. It's called repair. They have to repair and rebuild and retool to get where we're going, where we're, where we're at now. Some companies, listen, to get into to Dubai, you have to have your stuff together. They don't just take anybody because they don't have to. They take the cream of the crop. And that's always says cream rises to the top. Well, we rose to the top because of Ashri Farah, his team, uh, the media team, Dubai, everybody that's involved, they told them enough where they said, not only do we want you here in our country, we want you to be here for a long, long time. And that's a big deal. And, and it wasn't like other people weren't competing for that spot because to get a marketing extravaganza like the station, not for one day, but for 10 years, that is almost magical. I don't know how they got away with it. And it's not just about money. As far as I know, Dubai is not short on money. Okay? So it had a lot to do with what we're doing and what we represent. And to me, that is so, so strong for all of us. Look, for what a little bit I know, a little bit that we know even, when you see something like that, I mean, if you really take the time it should make you not be able to sleep at night, which it did to me. And I haven't slept all night in the last four days. But anyway, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Red, and he can fill you in some stuff also. Uh, thanks very much, Marty. Uh, you quick shout out, actually, to Anthony Abete for your super sticker. Very kind of you. I am going to go over and say hello to a few of you guys in a moment. Um, but now I just want to piggyback on what Marty has been saying. And funnily enough, before we came on here, I was chatting to Marty and we were talking about uh, the metro station and why I, I, I did a video of it, of why I believe it is such a big deal. And we were actually talking about this, saying is that, that so many of you, I don't think fathom how much of a big deal having this station here at this time really is. Obviously, we've got the contract for 10 years. The revamp is going to be going on now. And I think uh, off the top of my head, it should be finished by March, we've been told. That is a complete wrap uh, with the signage. Again, this is going to be one of the largest building wraps that has ever been done, especially, I don't know worldwide, but certainly within uh, Dubai. That is for sure. So it's going to have massive exposure just for that one thing alone. But we were talking uh, more importantly about why it's such a big deal. Now, obviously, the phases of Dubai have gone through various stages, as we all know. Remember, it used to be just a plain old fishing village back in the day, you know, sand camels fishing village. That's what it was. And they realized that their resources as a country are not going to be there forever, which was predominantly oil and gas. So the leaders of Dubai came up with a absolutely out of the box idea of what to do with Dubai. And that was to build what we know right now. How many people told them they were crazy? How many people told them it could not be done? How many people pooed their idea of what was possible. Did they take any notice? No, they didn't. It made them more determined to carry out what they will, what they wanted to do. And now we see the fruits of their rewards with the tallest building in the world, with the largest indoor ski slope in the world, with the largest screen in one of the largest moles in the world. All of this biggest aquarium, all sorts of records have been broken because of Dubai. Why? Because there was no such thing as failure in their eyes. They had a vision, they had an idea, and they wanted to fulfill it. Now we move on to the other phase of what Dubai are doing now. They've built all of the major structures that they want to do. They've put the infrastructure there, including the metro and the roads, 
all of these facilities are all there. But they also need and understand that they have to move forward. And part of their next stage is to bring the tech companies of the world to make, um, uh, make Dubai the technical capital of the world. This is their vision. They want to be the innovation. They want entrepreneurs to put their mark on Dubai. They invite people to be there. On passive as a company fit very nicely into what they are trying to do and achieve. This is why we have the um, possibility at the moment with the Dubai government to expand like we think we can do with Dubai. We have the same ethos. We have the same understanding. We have the same passion and heart for humanity that the Dubai government want to achieve as well. All of this goes hand in hand with whatever is going on. Now, when I said I was talking to Marty, we we're saying how many thousands of people go on the Dubai Metro daily at the moment? What the figures we've been told, 700,000 a day within the network of Dubai go up and down it. How many of those go through on Passive Station? We don't know, but that's how many there is on the network. 200 million people use it. Just imagine where it's going to be halfway through our contract that we have already with RTA. What's it going to be daily? A million daily? More than a million daily? That's on top of all of these new companies, all of these new people that are going to settle in Dubai, that are going to see the word on passive. Don't you think a couple of these people might be going, oh, let's have a look at Google. What is on passive Dubai? Don't you think this is preemptive of their marketing capabilities? By securing this station right now, for whatever the amounts of money it was, is immaterial. They will be paid back tenfold because of our early innovative idea to do this now. Everything that is being done by on passive right now is done by design. It is all for the future. It is all to make the statements. It is all to give that marketing exposure that we want right now. Anyway, I'm going to hand it over to Chris and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to talk to you about my meetup today in Barbados with some amazing brand ambassadors and founders of Barbados. Over to you, Chris. Thank you, Red. Uh, hey, I want to do a slight recap. Brand new breaking news that Ash just sent me on what Red was talking about. There's been a slight change. It's a good change. The wrap is ready by the weekend. People will see it live next week not March. So that's cool. Uh, March is for the ticket system, the rename, all of it. So that's just an update I just got. Uh, Red had the, the other information we had and Ash just said, oh, I, it's changed, Chris. It's good, ready to go. So number one, I can't tell you how proud I am of this company right now. Uh, you know, I look, I told Red and Marty today, I really don't have nothing. I'm so excited. I can't sleep. I'm functioning horribly because everything that's going on, that's, that's the truth. And everyone say, why, aren't you, why can't you sleep? I don't know. I really don't, <laughs> but I do. Now I thought about something today is when I was growing up and I brought this up before, there's a lot of people in this world who have invented things. All right. Uh, for instance, do you know who invented the dryer or the washer? Pretty cool people you've never heard about. Right. And you all know how, how important the washer and dryer have been in our lives, in our houses, apartments, wherever you live. Boats, they got them in boats now. It's pretty amazing. I think Red's got one. You got one of those in your boat yet, Red? See, it happens, you know. So then I came across my favorite one of all. The, the most useless invention or, or <laughs> idea I've ever seen. And we owned them. It was called the Pet Rock. And some guy thought, hey, I got an idea. And back in the 70s and 60s, what was the big thing a lot of people said? Oh, we got to have a conversational piece in our house. Well, that was the pet rock. It was a guy, <laughs> he got a bunch of rocks. He made a box, he put some straw, he parked it in their box. And then he had a little story about that rock. My parents bought a couple of them, I remember them. And I thought, 
I told my dad, I said, you know, this is the greatest invention. He looks at me like, dude, are you nuts? I said, no, dad, if a burglar breaks in, I can throw this rock at the burglar. You know, of course he laughed. So and there's always something for something. So then I thought conversational piece. I talked about the other day about each one of us are a landmark because we were, we were, we were putting out how much on passive is now a humongous landmark, not only when, with the two offices and the tallest building in the world, but also now the train station. And let me tell you, a lot more landmarks to come. But I said we have 1,400,000 landmarks, which is us. We are the information of Impassive. We are the ones that have got out there and talked about it to build this, this foundation uh, bigger than what it is today. So I say you are a landmark. Utilize that you are a landmark for Impassive, okay? As far as I'm concerned, uh, a landmark is the greatest conversational piece that you are in, that's in your house right now. Okay, so you invite people over, they don't need to see a box with a rock in it. Okay, the box with a rock in it never did anyone good but the guy that invented it. He sold one million of them, he became a millionaire <laughs> from a rock. There was no solutions beside the one I said, thrown in at a burglar. Now you've got Unpassed it's sitting on your kitchen table in a box. There's a million four hundred thousand landmarks in there, there's thousands of products, thousands of solutions. This is an invention, an idea, a dream from way back when that is now put in place that has a purpose. What is the purpose? To help people with solutions. Solutions. What's the main solution? I say my personal self is to repopulate the world with good. Repopulate the people that never had anything or never had a chance. Now they do. This is the greatest conversational piece I've ever had in my house. And you're looking at three of them right here on this screen. Why? Because back then I didn't believe in the pet rock. I thought it was cute, but I know in my heart exactly that when I open this box called Unpassive, all right, there's not going to be a rock in there. Solutions are going to jump out to help the world. It's going to help everyone that wants it, I'll say. If you don't want it, that's okay. Go buy another pet rock and explain to people what a great rock and what a family life he has. But I have a story about a passive, like a whole bunch of other people, that is the greatest conversational piece that I will ever tell. I can't wait for my grandkids and their grandkids and their grandkids to say, yeah, my great, 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 great grandfather, he believed in this, he got in it. He never let anyone get in the way. All right, he just kept going and going. He believed in what Ash Mafara was saying. He watched him create this. He helped with, with certain things. That's a legacy, guys. Notice I didn't say anything about money. I didn't say nothing about money. Just what my grandkids are going to talk about in the future. Now, by then, when I've got 20 different kind of grandchildren in the future, uh, we can talk about the monetization right there, we'll say it. All right. They're going to be saying, man, just think if grandpa, great grandpa, Chris never read or, or Marty never got into this. Where would we be? I tell you where you'd be. You'd be doing a J-O-B like the rest of us stalkers did for our whole lives. You have something new and amazing. And let me tell you, if you're not talking about it now, you are not really an impassive. Start talking about it, folks. Make yourself a landmark of impassive. Make yourself a con... Um, <laughs> I forgot a conversation piece for the greatest company in the world that is going to uplift humanity. It's going to change your success. It's going to change your wealth. It's going to do many things. Once again, solutions for everyone. Marty DeGarmo, that's all I got back to you, brother. Once again, I'm really glad you had nothing when we got here because that works out so much better than having something. But anyway, Hold on, my family's talking. <laughs> anyway, you know that. There's not like I can do. Anyway, um, yeah, I was looking at all these stadiums in the United States, okay? Like you have Gillette. You have uh, named after airports. Some of them are named after uh, certain companies. Uh, and what are they holding? 50, 60,000. They have a football uh, game maybe most of the time, once a week. So they usually just sit and try. Do you know what they pay for that? It's outrageous amount of money to get their name on that. And to put that up to perspective of what we have with the train station, it's not even on the same planet. 
it's actually up to par with Grand Central Station. And let me tell you, everybody in the planet knows what Grand Central Station is. They get 750,000 visitors a day. We're, we're 50,000 less. That's how close we are. And where's it going to be, like Red said, in, in five years? I'm telling you, we're going to be at the best place, the best look. And by the way, we thought Burj Khalifa was all, right? We thought, well, how are you going to top that? They did. I don't know where we're going next. <laughs> We're going to be all over Dubai, obviously. If we're not on a building, we're not in a newspaper, we're going to be in your travels to and from work, your travels going to the aquarium. When you get to the aquarium, I mean, it's it's such a genius setup. I mean, thank God I don't have to put the bill. And this is why I brought up to founders today, and I don't want to be negative. But this sense of entitlement that some of us have, for the $97, it's really a joke, okay? $97 and you own and you deserve what? Nothing. Nothing. We haven't paid for that. We didn't pay for anything in Dubai. And the creepy, weirdest thing is they're still giving money back if you want it. Never seen anything like it. I was in a company, 2500 bucks to get in. And they charge me every month. I lost that. I lost every month that I was in for a year because I didn't have the brains to get out. I kept thinking I'm not going to give up. I'm gonna, well, when I found on passive, I planted my flag. And if you see what they're doing in 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 behalf of us, and you don't appreciate it, you're right. Maybe you shouldn't be here. It's sad to say that, but really think about what you're doing because I hate every time I hear somebody thinking about leaving or something. I think, oh my God, do you know what you're saying? Do you really know what you're saying? And remember, 97 got you here. You didn't pay another dime. We, we, we are owed nothing. Everything that I've learned in Unpassive, pass that $97 a week into it, right? I don't even think about it. I was almost embarrassed paying it. Looking back now, it's 97. I don't even want to bring it up because it's embarrassing. Would you get you got this and this, the building, they got, they're in the Burj Khalifa, two floors. They just got their name on a train station in the most high-tech city in the planet. And everybody that enters on passive comes to a founder. What'd you pay? Come on. It's embarrassing. All right. It is. So don't, stop bringing it up. It's not good. If you're having problems, get your money out and, you know, get divorced. It's fine. But please think about what you're saying. I don't know. You couldn't do this with everybody that you know, even touch what we're part of, not even touch it. Anyway, that's all I've got for the today. I'm going to go back to Red. Red met some people, uh, founders were, when he's over there, which he, he had a great time. So here's Red. Uh, thanks very much, Marty. Uh, just before I go on to the founders, um, keep an eye on uh, all of our. Uh, Facebook uh, pages, guys, because uh, we're getting sent a lot of publication links uh, for uh, different online publications that are featuring on Passive. Uh, and uh, we want to get these out to you so that you can read yourself what the gen what the, the media are starting to say about on Passive. Really, really good. And in fact, uh, the latest one I shared, which Marty got hold of, um, from RTA, which is the train company. They put a, an official press release out now on their website, which I've shared and Marty's shared as well. What a fantastic write-up. For me so far, it's the best write-up I've seen in any of the publications. Why am I saying this? It's because it gives a bit of a background of not only the company, but what they are trying to achieve and how on passive fit in to what they are trying to do. Uh, so it's a really good read. And also, uh, my friend Ram uh, Ben uh, Yakov from uh, Israel sent me a link. Would you believe one of the Philippine uh, online publications have picked this up as well? And they are running with that from the Philippines. This is how it's going, guys. It really is the snowball effect of what Home Passive is doing. You have to get that ball rolling. And, you know, you really, once you've got that ball rolling, there is no stopping it. 
you know, once it, this train has left the station, we are now on free wheel. All we're going to do now is, cat, is uh, get more and more speed behind us because we are on our way. It's fantastic to see. And you know something, uh, Marty was right. I had a meet up today here with some uh, Barbad uh, Barbadians, uh, yeah, Barbadian founders here today. I was blown away. Uh, a lady called Sandra Fletcher and uh, Dexter, they both would been emailing saying, Red, we'd love to meet up with you. Can we see you? So I, I got everyone together this morning to come over. I was expecting two, three, four people, maybe a dozen of Barbadians uh, came, founders. Many of them are 2018s, early 2019s or early 2020s. And one guy's been in six months. But do you know something? It absolutely blew me away that these people, founders, are so, so in touch with what is going on as far as on Passive is concerned. Even on this island of Barbados, they watch all our lives. They haven't missed corporate webinars. They might not be front and centre, but one thing are, they are engaged founders. And they are so passionate about what on passive is going to do. You know, there, there was a, a pastor who was here and um, Sandra Fletcher's mum, who is Yvonne Beckles. She is an aged lady, but she is one of the first founders here in on passive. Many of the founders here and there's over a thousand in Barbados, believe it or not. She has brought many of these people in from all over. In fact, actually, uh, her pastor, who's been a founder for a long time as well, he didn't even know he was a founder until she said, I've bought your position and he had no choice. But he is really excited about the possibilities of O-Connect and to, to do with um, his pastoral services, etc. We were having such a nice discussion, uh, that banding questions backwards and forwards, but they weren't airy fairy questions they were very relevant questions to where we are within on passive at the moment what do you think the future is going to be which directions they are very interested in the company they are very interested in what the company is trying to achieve and i absolutely love that about them you know you having the founder's position is exactly what I perceive myself that these guys are doing. And that is have an interest in what you have. But unfortunately, they're not all like that, are they? We know many, many founders who've just bought it. Bought in, let's wait and see. The fence sitters, the ones that aren't quite believers, but they don't want to miss out. What I'm looking for is the founders I met today. These guys, serious founders who are passionate about their business, who want to know, who want information. And these are the true founders in my eyes of what the company are looking for. I think in the future, things might change. But I tell you what, these guys have blown me away today. I am so privileged to have met them. I wouldn't have changed it for the world. And in fact, we're going to go to one of the local highlights that happens on a weekly basis here in Barbados to Oystings. It's a fish market. So that's going to be interesting. We're going to get the uh, crazy bus. They call it the Reggie Reggie bus with the music blaring down there. So it's going to be good, good fun. But to everyone who came and saw Jane and I today, thank you so much, really, from the bottom of my heart to take the time out of your day to come and visit us, to meet up with other founders. This is what it's all about. It does not matter where you are in the world. If there is a founder there, you have a friend. That's it for me. Over to you, Chris. Okay, I only got one more quick thing to say. Something the most important thing I completely forgot about. Whatever you do today, um, she's very busy. Please do not wish Julie Wen a happy birthday. Please. Don't text her, don't Facebook message her, don't send her email, whatever you do. She's so busy. Jeez, just don't do it. Wink, wink. Happy birthday, Julie Wynn. I hope you get smothered with love 
and all kind of good things. Uh, Marty DeGarmo, I'm good. Back to you. Red, love the, love the real story you told. Absolutely phenomenal. I don't have a whole lot to add to what we've talked about. I can tell you that uh, obviously there wasn't a, a uh, corporate meeting this week yet. Uh, rumor has it there could be one on Saturday involving the Burj Khalifa. Nothing is concrete, but keep your ears open. And when we find out or it's posted, we will let you know and be ready. Because remember, every day is something new. The, they are working behind the scenes every second of every day, every minute, every month to make things better and better and better. That's all I have. I want to thank everybody for coming. If nobody else has anything, I'll close it out. Thank you very much, everybody, for another 360 and coming here every week. And uh, we appreciate it more than you could imagine. God bless and goodbye. And I'll see you all tomorrow. Ha <laughs> ha!